doing YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I just want to give you guys just a quick side-by-side uh, <clears throat> -side comparison of a couple of smart home bulbs that I thought I that I reached or a couple of smart home bulbs that I've discovered recently and I've reviewed on uh, a couple different occasions. I just want to talk a little bit about the two different types here uh, that I have and uh, the bulbs that I'm going to show you guys today are um, now I'm not going to show you their functionality because I've already done a review on that and if you're interested in watching that video, I urge you to check it out uh, because there's not a lot of videos out on the internet that actually show you how the bulb works during a power failure. And what these bulbs are is they're power failure bulbs. They're LEDs that have a built-in battery pack. In the event of a power failure, it still allows you to use the lamp or fixture as you normally would, but running off battery life. Um, now, the two brands I have, I just want to tell you a little bit about each. They're very, very similar in design. Or I'm sorry, not in or in, in functionality. Uh, Styling is a little bit different, uh, size a little bit different, but they basically do the same thing. I just want to touch base on just a few of the, the major points with these two. Uh, the first one is one by Safe Lumen, and the other one is by Senglin, called the Everbright. Uh, so, what are the differences between these two lights? Well, I have to say both have pros and cons. Uh, both these light bulbs are designed to be put in a lamp or fixture uh, that is vented. As far as my, now, my understanding, these do, do produce heat like any other bulb, even LEDs, they produce heat. And these bulbs have built-in battery packs. And I believe both are lithium-ion, and as you know, no battery pack you want to subject to extreme temperature. And bulbs do get hot to the touch. So even though LED bulbs don't get as hot as your standard uh, incandescent lights, they still generate quite a bit of heat. So you don't want to have this anywhere where it's going to build up so much heat and cause any kind of fire hazard or damage the product in any way. So that's the first thing that they both have in common. Uh, the second thing, they both run for about three to three and a half hours on their battery charge. Um, in the event of a power failure, you have that amount of time to use the bulb under battery powered uh, uh, status. Uh, they both basically have the smart sensing, whereas if you have a power failure, it'll sense that the power has been cut. What it does, it detects the, uh, that there is a load on your system without power running through it. Somehow it's able to do that. Now that doesn't mean that if you have the lamp off and the power goes off, they're going to come on. They don't work that way. How they do work is if the lamp was on and the bulb was on and you have a power failure, they will stay on, but they'll go into the their dim down power savings mode. Now between the two, I have to say, um, as far as the luminescence or the light output, um, the I have to say that the, the uh, Sanglet uh, Everbright definitely wins in this particular category. Uh, let me just show you before we go off too far here. There is a noticeable size difference. If we compare it to your standard LED bulb, this is your 40 watt equivalent from like Home Depot, you can see there's quite a bit of size difference between all three, with the Senglet being the largest of the three. Quite a bit larger, and the top, the domes, are quite a bit, is quite, are quite a bit larger on the Senglet as well, whereas the Safe Lumen's pretty comparable. Now the advantage to the Safe Lumen bulb is of course the size there. Um, naturally this is going to fit in a lot of fixtures, a lot more fixtures than your than your uh, singlet light bulb will. Um, a few of my bathroom fixtures where I was hoping to use this in, um, the singlet one popped right off the top. You could see the dome. It looked ugly so you couldn't use it. Uh, a couple of lamps I had, the singlet one would actually hang down past the globe and look stupid. Um, whereas the Safe Lumen is actually small enough where it will fit in some of those smaller lights. Okay or the fixtures. Uh, nice thing with the Safe Lumen too, the venting is really great on this. A uh, huge vent right through the middle of the bulb right here. And what I like about this particular bulb is it has a power test uh, button. So you just press that and hold it and what will happen, the light will flash one, two, and three. And that's basically showing you that there is a 100% charge on the battery. Flashes twice, you know you got 50% charge left and one means you need to charge it by turning the lamp on for six hours it will replenish the battery. Um, and just to show you that, the light is kind of a, more of a cooler white. So this is going to glow more of a warmer white when it's in standard power mode, when the light, when the, when the circuit is, uh, or when your, your power goes out and you're using it based on battery power, that's the light color you're going to get, which is more of a cooler look, uh, more closer to your 4,000, 5,000 K color temperature. Uh, so if you're not a fan of that, that's what you're going to have to be dealing with. Uh, both light bulbs will though, once the power is killed, you can still use the switch to turn them on and off and conserve power as you would as if you had power going to your house. Um, advantage, of course, now that's the advantage of the Safe Lumen bulb. Size, ability to test it, a lot lighter weight, a lot smaller. Now, the, uh, the, of course the advantage to the, uh, the Senglid bulb is that you have a much bigger space as far as light output. 
Uh, although it doesn't really seem any brighter than the other one, uh, you just have a bigger dome, of course. So if you were putting this in a fixture, uh, maybe in a ceiling can, uh, that might be uh, something you might want to, um, that might look a little nicer aesthetically. Um, they both have a replaceable battery pack in the event that, you know, the battery does wear down, you can replace the pack. Although on the single one, it looks almost like you'd have to pry this open and slide down, but it is replaceable as far as I know. Um, it doesn't look like the Sengler one has any kind of venting, and I didn't see anything on their website about putting it in a closed fixture, but I still wouldn't recommend it because these do produce heat, and you don't want to put this anywhere where you're going to build up an excess of heat and cause damage to either your fixture, your house, potentially your life, uh, or, of course, uh, you, you, get, you get what I'm saying. Um, one real advantage that I see with the, uh, that I really like about the Singlet LED is that when it goes into the power mode, the light color does not change. It just drops from 500 lumens to 300 lumens. And it'll run three and a half hours on a battery. Uh, so, and that to me is really nice because I tested this. Check out my videos on both. I urge you to find, pick which one you like the most. But when I tested this in this lamp here, the color temperature was exactly the same. It just looked, when it went into power mode, it just looked like it went to a light bulb that has been dimmed down, you know, 60%. So that was really nice on the eyes. You didn't have any kind of, because I personally don't like in my home uh, any kind of lights that are not. Like when it comes to white, they got to be that nice, soft, creamy, uh, comfortable lighting. I don't like the bright, bright, pure white stuff. I like that in my HID headlights in my car, the bright, pure white. I like blue when I'm relaxing and chilling, but uh, and, and different colors. But as far as that lighting, to me, it's very annoying. I feel like I'm at work or I feel like I'm in the grocery store. I just don't like it. But there are time and occasions where I do like it. In the event that it's daylight and the windows are all open, I want to have extra light, I will adjust the color of my LifeX bulbs to the outside light where it looks more natural in the house. So there is a time and place for that kind of stuff. But just in the event of power failure, it's going to be dark. I don't want that nasty bright white light. And not to say that this is super cool, but it's definitely cooler than it is when it's uh, actually on in your standard mode. Um, this is a lot warmer. So both bulbs have a real advantage. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to fit in a smaller fixture, definitely going to be your safe lumen. Uh, like, for instance, I don't think this would fit in some of my outdoor fixtures. And you can use an outdoor fixture, whereas I don't know if the safe lumen one actually is weather resistant, where I know for a fact the safe lumen one is designed, uh, or sorry, the Senglet LED is designed to go in an exterior fixture as well. It can take, the, uh, it does have tolerances to take moisture. So I thought about putting one of these maybe outside my garage lights, but I care more about my parents and I'm going to give them a couple of them because I'd rather them have a working light in the event of a power failure. So guys, that was my side-by-side -side comparison of both the Senglet Everbright and the, um, the Safe Lumen Bulb. Uh, two awesome bulbs, both with some good features. Um, definitely going to re-review -re these uh, at a later date. If I get a power failure, I'll definitely put up a video on that. But I was able to simulate what that would be like with both bulbs in the event of a power failure. Uh, once again, you can't put this in a lamp and unplug the lamp, move it around your house. It's not a battery power bulb. It's a smart bulb. And so it has to be plugged into your, your home uh, um, outlet or pl uh, plugged into a fixture. It has to be part of your the load for it to detect the load. And so if it's unplugged, it can't detect the load. It doesn't think there's a power failure. So that's about it in a nutshell, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Um, definitely, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. If I don't have the answer, I will get you the answer with my contacts at both companies. If you're looking to make a purchase of these bulbs, which I think every smart home or every home should really have at least a couple of these bulbs, I'll put a link in the description where you can get this for the best deal. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. As always, have a great day.